The doors were open. Naturally, I was curious, and, you know, I just happened to look in. That's when I saw some debris that looked like parts of a plane or something that they hadn't had a crash. Because I've seen them do this a lot of times, bring in pieces and the old ambulances in. Can you describe the debris? Yeah, they were... I noticed in two of the ambulances there was some debris that was probably two and a half to three feet, you know, long and probably high that was propped up on the side of the ambulance there. They were kind of in the shape of maybe like a half a canoe. They they were uh, like the front part of a canoe. And, uh, you know, it... Looked like it looked like it might be aluminum, but it it looked more like it was the metal looked more like stainless steel that had been heated. It was blue, kind of a bluish tint to it. But what was odd about it? It looked like around the curved part in the front of the canoe there was some there was some uh, designs or something. It kind of reminded me of maybe some Egyptian signs or whatever, and it was probably about three inches and high and probably the length of what the wreckage I saw it looked like it was the length and the same thing was in in the other ambulance too I mean I saw practically the same thing she gave me a little diagram that she had that she had drawn some dry, some uh, figures of uh, of some arms and a uh, face and so on she told me that this is what you know was what was in those uh, that it was a crash wasn't an airplane, but they didn't know what it was at that time. These were bodies. Yeah, but she said we have three bodies. That there was three bodies. She said two of them were very mutilated. One looked like it might have walked out, or that it, you know, might have lived a, a little while. And she explained they were like three and a half feet, to four feet tall. The uh, two of the bodies were the the. You couldn't identify much because they were practically destroyed, and it looked like maybe that they might have been uh, a predatory animal or something might have uh, been doing some damage on the bodies, too. How did she describe their head and their hands? Well, she said the head, and then the, the little drawings that I had, she, the way she explained it and the way she drew it, that the heads were somewhat larger than, than a human Heads. The hands were long, no thumbs. It was just the long, very delicate fingers. At the end of the, on the underside, at the tip of each finger was a pad-like, uh, maybe a little pad, but it looked like the skin had maybe a little suction, like the little suction cups on those. On the uh, no fingernails on the hands. The head. The lips were very just a long, narrow, more or less uh, not full lips like we would have in a, in most of our people, but very fine line, very fine lips. Uh, there was no teeth. It was the inside of the mouth. It was it was kind of like a real uh, a gums. Maybe it was, uh, and also that the nose. There was only two small orifices in the nose it was there was really no nose that was uh, convex it was all just uh, flush with the uh, the face